Hello, I'm Warwick Selvey. I'm 76, a doctor of chiropractic in my own clinics for 50 years. I'm an Olympic finalist in two events at the Rome Olympics, competed in the Tokyo Olympics. I won more Australian titles than any other man. I have run a marathon in under four hours and was the heaviest man in the world to do so. I was the heavyweight weightlifting champion of Australia and I have lifted 132 and a half kilograms in the military press, 125 kilograms in the snatch, 165 in the clean and jerk. Uh, I came second in the world veteran athletics championships at age 61 in the discus. I was fourth in Australia in single skull rowing at 61, 62 and 63 age. I uh, was third best Olympic lifts in the world at age 61 and um, my sixth, seventh and tenth in the world in barbershop quartet singing in the ages of 61, 2 and 3. I've been an operatic solo bass singer for 50 years. I never get sick and here are my secrets. I'm retired in Thailand with my darling 45 year old Thanawan. We gym every day and swim 400 metres every day, bicycle, heal the locals and sing a bit. We never get sick. How is it possible? Well, there are rules. There are many rules. And one of the first ones is not to overeat. Rats, uh, there was an experiment done, lived 40% longer when they ate 50% of the food of normal rats. Got that? So they ate 50% of their normal diet, cut their food intake in half and lived 40% longer. So the best action you can do in the way of exercise is to push yourself away from the meal table. And um, whilst I'm being facetious, I mean that seriously. So when you eat, you always leave some aside, as my mother said, 70 years ago, leave some for Mr. Manners. I have no idea who Mr. Manners is, but you can imagine that he's the mythical god of food who needs to, to eat and uh, can only eat if we leave him some. And um, I think that's wonderful advice. So if you have to clean that off the plate in the kitchen or give it to the dog or the chooks, so be it. It's far better, however expensive it might seem, to those of us who are not that well off, we should push it aside or not serve it in the first place and just eat small meals. The amount of work your digestive system has to do to break down food and digest it and then uh, dispose of the waste and ensure that there's no toxic remnant in the body is a lot of work for the liver and the stomach and uh, just the circulatory system in the gastrointestinal area. Uh, so it's important to eat less. And then of course it's important to never eat any rubbish. Not even a mouthful of hamburger. Not even a mouthful of, of uh, that yucky sauce that you love so much. Uh, or of dairy milk, a little bit of milk but no more than a glass and followed by stuff that will help to get it down without causing mucus such as semi-acid fruit, apple, orange, that sort of fruit, pineapple, wonderful, to help the digestion of claggy food and milk is claggy however it's been processed probably better as full cream milk than all the other types of milk because at least then it's got some of its original enzymes in it. Enzymes are there to help break it down when it's eaten. They're very important. So the, the, the enzymes come in whole organic food. They're knocked out. They're rather delicate. They're knocked out by any other preparation methods such as cooking and, um, oh, you know, tantalising them with stuff that probably neutralises the enzymes in many cases, such as sources. Self-discipline is important, and if you haven't got it, well, um, 
I wish you all the best. But we, we're stuck here in this life, or lucky to be here in this life, to enjoy it. And by that we need to keep, to do that we need to keep the rules, which are uh, to not eat too much, to sleep eight hours, to exercise every day, and to have a good mindset, to have a job that we love, some sort of occupation, and to be in loving, in a state of loving kindness, as in Buddhistic countries, by the very teachings of that religion, and because it is the Christ-like way anyhow, to live in loving kindness to your neighbours, family, children, particularly. And be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And somebody I heard the other day uh, uh, just said, you have to ask. Ask and thou shalt receive. Ask the power. If you don't believe in God, you know there's the power of the universe. Get on your knees, humble yourself and ask for help for whatever. Have a better job to be free of uh, some badness in your life. To find the things in the life in your life that you want to be, that you know, want to have, that you know are good and honourable. Ask for them. Ask for improvement. Ask for money, ask for health, um, humbly and sincerely. There is sufficient benevolence and abundance in this world for all of us. Um, there's sufficient goodness, but there is the power of evil, however you want to look at it. Otherwise, what would good be if there weren't the power of evil to contrast it with? So we have to dodge our way through the evil in life, and combat it at times and be knocked down by it at times but to realize that good will prevail so eat lots of fruit and veg i eat endless amounts of fruit pineapple papaya oranges bananas they're my main fruits and um, anything else grapefruit wonderful stuff those five fruits are my favorite banana grapefruit, papaya or pawpaw, oranges and, oh, grapes, I didn't mention, that's six altogether. Don't eat red meat. Forget red meat. It's carcinogenic. Lamb is probably far better, but not too much. And then the chicken and the poultries are fine as you need them, as you have them. Have them, but don't have red meat. Have lamb once a week if you like. A roast of lamb's lovely. But don't have it every day and never eat beef. Never eat pork. Now that's going to offend some people, so I won't push it. But I believe that pork is a no-no or pig meat of any kind. Pigs don't have a lymphatic system. And that very fact means that the toxins in their body must be circulating around in the general flesh rather than being drained into the lymphatic system of channels and nodes and emptying into the bowel eventually. Um, the daily exercise should be mild and get more intense as you get fitter but having regard to your heart's inherent strength what did your ancestors do heart-wise? Uh, uh, how you feel afterwards, do you feel tired? You shouldn't feel too tired after exercise. In fact, you should st feel stimulated and just pleasantly relaxed. And it may take one to two months to get fit on an exercise routine and trainers and teachers of exercise participants should keep that in mind. Take them slowly, there's no rush. If they do it slowly, they'll get there. If they do it in a hurry, they run the risk of injury and um, even of heart damage or at least of, of an intense type of tiredness that's not beneficial. The body will thank you for any exercise, walk a kilometre a day, that's probably more than the average. Um, so if you can get that up to two kilometres of walking, 
then add some swimming up to half a kilometre, then add some light weights because muscles need resistance exercise. Muscles make youth. The main indicator of ageing is loss of muscle. Forget everything else. Keep your muscles and you'll keep healthier because muscles help to oxygenate the body. Oxygen is the greatest healer. Uh, they talk about getting oxygen in various ways, but I believe that if you exercise aerobically every day and do your one to two K walk, jog, walk, jog, treadmill, um, you know, in the gym, turning the treadmill up to four Ks an hour, five Ks an hour, six Ks an hour, going into a slow jog at seven Ks an hour for a minute or two, and do the, the treadmill for at least 10 minutes, during which time you will have covered at least a kilometre. And if you can go to two kilometres, that's fine. But 15 minutes on a treadmill, I think, is plenty, and that won't be quite two kilometres. OK, and with the resistance, the weights, you can use, I prefer a barbell, but some dumbbells and barbell is good. Um, Push it overhead, that's called a military press. Lie on your back and push it upwards on the table. Uh, that's a bench press on the little long, long, long seat. And some leg squats, pop the bar across your shoulders with 30 or 40 or 60 kilos on it and squat up and down, up and down, up and down 10 times. Do that three times, three sets of 10. We call the sets of 10 uh, by that word sets and three of ten of each section of the body is good and that can be done in half an hour to 40 minutes with a nice rest between no rush the idea in weightlifting is to lift for say 30 seconds then have a one to two minute rest then lift again don't rush it enjoy your gym work and every movement you make in the gym is adding to your muscle and that is a godsend, and that is your insurance, your health, to keep yourself muscular. Women, forget about looking like Donna Thaldo or Arnold Schwarzenegger. You won't, you won't do that in five minutes or in half an hour of weight training a day. You'll do it in one to two hours or three hours of weight training a day. But you can look very good on half an hour a day or half an hour three times a week. And don't worry about muscles. Muscles for women are very important. Women have to do strong things, heavy things. Bearing children in, in itself is heavy work and you need to be fit for it. You should also be fit to, if you're thinking of having children. If you're going to conceive, both members, both husband and wife, should look to their health and honour their bodies by being as healthy as they can and the next generation by being as healthy as they can before they conceive. Um, you owe that to the next generation. You may be wonderful people and so on and on, but be fit at the moment of conception. So there's a little bit on health and fitness. Um, detoxing is very important. The best way to detoxify the body is with colon therapy. And that's hard to find in some places. So the next best thing is to have enemas yourself with a Higginson syringe, which is known by that name mainly. Um, at a, any pharmacist in the world should have a Higginson syringe. One end goes in the basin of warm water, the other end goes in your rear. That's quite a small speculum and it fits in quite comfortably with a dash of olive oil if you, if you wish and put in at least 20 pumps, up to 50 pumps of the Higginson syringe. The body can hold five litres of water easily. Uh, but if you get in and do two, one, two litres at, at first and increase that to three to four litres over some weeks, <coughs> pardon me, uh, the junk that you get out of the body will be amazing and highly beneficial to your health to be rid of. And of course, don't go and put it in again next meal. Respect the body with good, wholesome, organic, if you can, food. But at least fruit, veg, simple meats, not red meat.